Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And listen, this interview that I did with Dave Hodges this morning, hour and 45 minutes, but you want to talk about covering some ground, some territory, bringing out things that have never been brought out before. Boy, we definitely did that. Uh, Dave Hodges, I always, always appreciate uh, his insight on things. I was going to get in with him about Sudan, uh, the Silk Road Initiative, uh, you know, this one world economy that they're trying to bring about, you know, getting rid of the dollar, bringing up a new currency. But uh, we ended up going a ton of other different places instead. We did touch about that a little bit, but we went on all kinds of issues. So I ended up putting it on there, exposing global events and their true purposes. I just thought it was a fitting title. Now, I am saying this too to you guys because uh, this is on iConnectFX.com. In the description right below here is the link. Uh, I've got a little problem where I normally do this on the automated system there where uh, I, I do it through iConnect. Uh, I still haven't got that little bug worked out, so I had to create this particular segment separately. So I'm going to allow about a minute or two uh, to play here for you, maybe even five minutes. I think five minutes is probably even safe, but do go down there, click on the link below. There's no way this could air uh, here uh, on yt.com, uh, if you want to call it that, yt.com there, because if we did, well, you know what would happen. So I hate to do that to you, friends, but we have to. You're going to have to redirect. Go there, click on the link there, and I connect. Watch the video in its entirety, unedited, and I think you will uh, get there. You'll, you'll truly understand why it can't air any other place. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening, and I hope this is a blessing for many of you. And I also want to thank you for your support of the broadcast here, IsraeliNewsLive.org, our website. Uh, and uh, if you want to support the broadcast, I'll just quickly uh, share that with you there just, just for those that may feel that on their heart to want to be a part of what we're trying to do here. Our mailing address, Stephen Benoon, P.O. Box 156, Sunbright, Tennessee, 37872, uh, and, uh, or you can donate online. I thank you very much for your support. God bless. Okay, I think we're set to go here after uh, straightening out our technical issues. Um, I've had worse recently, Stephen. Is uh, I'm talking to Stephen Benoon, Dave Hodges here, and Stephen. I got to tell you, the interference electronically I'm getting are, are incredible. In fact, I just say I tried to post a, a an article on voter fraud and this lady that was expelled in the Arizona State House, Liz Harris, and the cloud would not accept it, and and. Uh, it blocked me from putting it on my website. Well, you're definitely, I, I can see just from watching us recording this, Dave, and I saw this before we came on, there's jumps in the video. Uh, now, I didn't, that wasn't my expertise when I was working with the government, I, but I actually did work with one of the guys that was, he did all the communication and stuff like that, tapping, bugging, all that kind of good stuff. Uh so I learned a lot from it, and I've learned a lot even since then. There's little things that'll happen when they're trying to listen in uh, that causes problems, mm -hmm. even like whether it's on a phone being bugged. Uh, there's little things you can hear and pick up on that will help uh, help you realize that you may be being listened into. Unless, of course, they're listening into you from the <laughs> electrical wires in your house. That's a little different. Well, so, you know, St Stephen, I got to tell you that uh, when I when I do a joint broadcast with uh, Doug Thornton, former NSA, former military contractor with the military industrial complex, we we have things piped in on pre-records, not on air, pre-records, where like the the theme from the NFL will be piped in to our interview. Um, it, it, now we let it play just to show people it's actually happening. So oh uh, yeah, it, it's absolutely <laughs> incredible. So anyway, uh, I'm glad to be here with you. We got, there's so many things going on that we can talk about, but I'll kind of let you just, you, you choose the topic and I'll just follow along. Well, one of the things that I wanted to pick your brain on today, Dave, is Sudan. Uh, in light of the fact we had General Wesley Clark years ago come out and said that there would be seven nations that'd be taken down in five years. Yeah. And as mm -hmm. he listed those nations, 
right when he gets to the end of the list, the last two out of the seven, he says, sedan, he said, and, 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 uh, uh, making full, full circle back around to Iran. Uh, so here we are, we see Sudan, the war going on right now over there. And oddly enough, before I came on with you, I was on Twitter and a guy had just posted a video of a Sudanese black man who was talking about the war in Sudan. And he was given every detail of the U.S. and Russia involvement inside of Sudan and, you know, Dave, the thing is, is both countries, unbeknownst to the general public, cooperate to topple the nation. Now, granted, one nation wants to have more control than the other. Russia's wanting that control. And with this happening, and I just want to throw some things out there because I know it, it'll stimulate your thoughts on this as well with your knowledge and background, um, is that <clears throat> the... There's also a major uh, belief in, in the Pentagon that this part of Africa will survive uh, when the binary system goes through. That's one of the reasons why the whole Silk Road initiative was put together, the One, Boat, one Belt, One Road initiative, resetting up a whole global economy, et cetera, et cetera, because I, I don't know if we're supposed to get hit hard over here. But from what I hear, we are. Um, there's also talk about bringing our nation down so that they can uh, bring about a one world government, because as long as we survive, they'll never be successful, et cetera, et cetera. So with that in mind and with the, the Sudan now in this uh, civil war, so to speak, we know Iran is next on the table. And I really wanted to get your thoughts on this, because I had a feeling that Dave Hodges probably knows a heck of a lot more than what I know on this. Well, I almost see this uh, with, a, well, I think it's multifaceted. So what I'm going to say is only one dimension of what I think is an overall issue that's still emerging that I yet to fully comprehend, but I have some of it. And one of the things that you're beginning to see leak out is the fact that these two warring generals with each other uh, they they seem to be competing for control of the weapons bio labs. And I'm saying plural, even though the mainstream media is only reported as singular. I have information that it's plural. 